There's no doubt that having a wildlife pond is the best way to encourage nature into your garden. And it's amazing what might be lurking in your pond. So today we'll look at five creatures that could be living in your garden pond. There are 36 species of dragonfly in the UK, of which many can be found in garden ponds. The adults will visit in the summer, often using them to catch prey, to bask and to rest by the edge of the pond. Common darters like to rest on warm pieces of wood, while migrant hawkers prefer the stems of reeds. It's the larvae, however, that spend most of the time in the pond, depending on species, up to two or three years. They are predatory, eating small inverts, normally via ambush, hiding in the weeds before striking. Many species have a retractable lower jaw that shoots out to grab prey, and is the inspiration for the second jaw in the xenomorph from the Alien films. They differ from damselfly larvae, of which there are 21 species in the UK, by generally being bulkier and bigger. To propel themselves forward, they shoot water out of their bums for a quick getaway. At number two is newts. Three newt species call the UK home, and all three can be found in gardens, though the smooth newt is the most likely to be encountered. When young, the larvae have gills behind the jaw to absorb oxygen from the water. They're pretty much found all over the UK and leave the pond at the end of the summer. The adults only really stay in the pond to spawn and spend most of the year out of the water, hidden under rocks, logs and in leaf litter. The Great Crested Newt is the largest species and males have a large crest owing to its name. The smallest is the Palmate Newt, which prefer acidic ponds in uplands and coastal areas. Our next species group is the water beetles. There's over 350 aquatic beetles in the UK, though the one most people will most likely know is the great diving beetle. There are 14 other species that look quite similar, so getting a positive ID to species level requires some skill. These bigger beetles are about the size of a 50p coin when adult and can fly from pond to pond, so will colonise new ponds easily. The female will lay eggs, and these larvae can be ferocious predators with an impressive set of jaws for tackling large prey. Despite spending most of the time in the water, they still need to come to the surface to breathe and have the tips of their abdomens out of the water in order to replenish their air supply stored beneath their wing cases. The next one is a rare find in a garden pond, but not impossible, and it's the only true aquatic spider in the world, the water spider. It creates its web underwater and builds a bell-shaped web between underwater plant stems. It can be spotted as it comes to the water's surface to trap air in on the hairs on its body, which it will take down to fill the web or diving bell. This is where it gets its other name from, the diving bell spider. It lives in this large air bubble during the day and hunts at night. Prey is normally small aquatic inverts like hog lice and shrimps. A relatively small spider at about 1.5 centimeters in body length they're often under-recorded, and as they rarely leave the water, most people would never even know they had them. Water spiders can be found in weedy lakes and ponds, and very slow-flowing rivers. Lastly, it's the stickleback. Free-spined sticklebacks are widespread across the UK, from the sea to rivers, but they do like ponds also. Adults reach three inches in length, and feed on small worms, daphnia, and insects. Not likely to colonize a pond on their own, they are sometimes dropped in by birds, but for garden ponds are normally introduced by the owners, or hitch a lift via plants. The males have a striking red belly and blue eye during the breeding season, and after the female has laid the eggs, he'll do all the looking after, chasing any predator away and making sure they have plenty of oxygen. A short-lived fish, most don't live longer than a year. If you did want them in a pond, anything smaller than a typical bathtub wouldn't be suitable, as they need plenty of room if you want them to breed, and a weedy pond is best. That's our list of five pond critters. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link, and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.